Venons merci à la caméra pour les mystères de ton ton mini Comic Con de Montréal. I'm Sal Good Sam. I'm a, a BDist and an author. And uh, I also promote uh, Canadian comics on a site called Sequential that I publish. I do comics. My preference genre-wise is not so much genre-driven or, or uh, escapist fantasy. I like... Realistic? Well, definitely if it were, we're talking about books, it would be contemporary fiction. But I don't mind a lot of magic realism or, or playing around with that kind of thing. But I don't want to do things uh, that are so driven by... Uh, sort of pop culture genre driven content. Are you a comic book fan still or do you read commercial uh, stuff? Yes, less less than these days but mostly because I'm too busy. I have a really uh, I have always had really really broad tastes. Uh, so I, I read everything. When I was a little kid, I started out actually reading mostly underground comics, like San Francisco ripoff comics and stuff like that. My father's comics and heavy metal. And then I also he also read X-Men and Spider-Man. So those were my first superheroes. What do you think about the um digital uh, distribution. Are you for that? Do you think your, your comic could be on uh, Comicology? I'm working on trying to do that right now. Growing up in the 70s and 80s, I have all of the usual sentimental attachment to print. But at the same time, um, I was also a green kid and I'm not really keen on the waste that's involved in pamphlets. Um, and that's always been something I was uncomfortable with. So the idea of having, focusing more on novels, graphic novels, And leading serialization to something like a digital media is actually perfect for me. Do we think it's the future from uh, four comic books? It's probably a future for a lot of mediums. In the business, and, and not just in comics, in a lot of the print media, anything that's, that's like a, a pamphlet or a serialized uh, monthly or annual, it's getting very expensive to print it, the ink costs, the distribution costs, the paper costs. And so the profit margins are getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. With the web, displacing most of the advertising market. Uh, there's not a lot of secondary ways of making income from ads. So really, the profit margins for doing an, a, a serialized comic are evaporating. Can you present uh, your, uh, your comic book? Since about the turn of the millennium, I've been doing a lot more personal work. So uh, uh, not so much, although I'm starting to play with some writing some of that. But right now, uh, the first thing I did uh, around 2004 was Revolver which uh, got, nominated, got me nominated for Best Emerging Artist for the Doug Wright Awards. And it's a collection of short stories. And uh, the current project I'm doing is Dream Life, which is, um, it's, I'm writing and drawing that myself. And it, it'll be like a 300 page book when it's done. So I'm serializing it online uh, with, with Transmission X Comics. Um, go to salgoodsam.com. And then, yeah, there's, there's, you'll find on the main page, there's links to all the stuff I do.